Hey folks, Brett here, and this is How You Sonic. Well, actually, that's not the right Sonic. Wait a minute, this is a porcupine. We're not talking about the porcupine pop today, but we are talking about Sonic restaurants. In particular, we're talking about the Sonic Wacky Packs. They're similar to McDonald's Happy Meals in that they come with toys. And today, of course, get Nerf toys in the Wacky Pack now. We have some new Nerf options. Get active with Launching Bow and Arrow, Dark Blaster and Dark Spoons, Water Spraying Mini Super Soaker, Missile, and Wearable Goggles. There are seven toys to collect, so it's time for summer fun. Only at participating locations for a long time while supplies last. Valid for one toy for a Wacky Pack Kids meal. And the real reason that I'm actually aware of all this is because of one man, and his name is Kyle. We'll call him Sonic Kyle, because he reached out to me and informed me that these wacky packs with a Nerf twist existed, and he offered to send them to me free of charge just for reviewing, because he felt that they were appropriate for my channel. So huge, huge thank you to Sonic Kyle. He gave me the hookup of all seven uh, collectible wacky pack Nerf toys. Now, part of me feels like this is a quite an honor. I almost don't want to open these because they're all sealed in package, and there is some uh, a little bit of a collector side where I could see these being valuable in the future if you keep them in package. But I also do want to actually see what they're about. There are also instructions inside, which means I really need to get in there and look at them. But for those of you who like to collect and are gonna die because I opened these, oh no, Brett, you're so fortunate to have all of them in your disposal, but you're going to ruin that. Bummer. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at this entire collection. We're going to see for the ones that can be chronographed how powerful they are. And I'm going to tell you if any of these are actually uh, decent. Would I run them in a war? Ha 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 ha. All right, let's check them out. First one we're looking at is the missile. So we'll take a look at the packaging real quick. This is the same for pretty much all of them. It's got Nerf, Sonic Wacky Pack, Collect Them All, Missile. And at the bottom it says, Attention parents, this toy is intended for children three years of age and above. <gasps> oh my gosh, I don't know if I should be playing with this. But you know, the usual stuff. And here's the moment of truth. No going back. Tear here. Just tear it enough so I can take it out. Let's check out. It's just an ever so tiny collect them all sheet, but on the other side, we've got Nerf Missile. And it doesn't say anything else, but now I have proof of receipt. And the missile itself, well, it's very orange. It's just orange. There's a little hole at the bottom. It's all right, this is, this is pretty heavy. Yike. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe don't throw this at someone you like. It's uh, It's got some heft to it. So a good display piece, if anything, but I don't exactly know what the purpose of, uh, of this missile is. Still, it's something. Next up, we've got the goggles. These ones are supposed to be actually worn. So that will be the ultimate question. Are they big enough that an adult man can wear them? Once again, we've got the little sheet and the official Nerf goggles. So there's a little plastic wrap you take off the back, but they are exactly what they say they are. A little pair of very high quality <laughs> Nerf goggles. And the ultimate test, oh, mm, okay. Well, I'll have to show you this separately. They do fit, but they don't, they don't fit well. I suppose they could be worse, and to be completely honest, I think they've made dart tag goggles that are, in fact, worse than this, but the dart tag goggles actually go over your eyes. These are really, really close together, so probably not something you'd want to wear to your next Nerf game, but they, uh, like the other things, do exist. Next up, Super Soaker. This is the only one that claims to be an official Super Soaker. I suppose you could put some water in the back of this rocket, but not really advertised to do that. This one, in fact, is advertised to shoot water. So if I open this guy up, Nerf Super Soaker, beautiful. Is this more powerful than the current Super Soaker options? We'll have to find out. Yep, this is high quality. The kind of stuff I would expect from Hasbro. But I'm going to assume it's not that powerful. But you know, it's got the Super Soaker logo on it, Nerf. With a few people, a couple of these, they could be fun. Who am I kidding? Now let's get into the good stuff. We've got the Dart Blaster and the Bow and Arrow. So these actually fire 
projectiles, which means that we can chronograph them and see just how powerful they are in our modern day of nerfing. We'll start with the aptly named Dart Blaster. So here is the projectile. Oh dear. <laughs> well, it looks okay on one side, and then you rotate it 90 degrees, and it's, it's flat. Why is it so flat? <laughs> Thanks, Hasbro. And here is the uh, the blaster. I mean, you know what? It's kind of cute. I kind of like it. It does look like the Jolt's younger brother. And here's the firing button up top, so the spring's going to be inside. We're just going to push it all the way in, locks into place. Can't take it out without then firing. Amazing. Ah, oh, groundbreaking. The world has never seen such power. <laughs> oh dear lord. I don't even know if this is gonna chronograph. All right, and here just for uh, continuity's sake. Dart blaster. Yeah. Insert dart into blaster, push button to blast. The instructions make a world of difference. And now let's check out the bow and arrow. This projectile is not going to be interchangeable. It's a tad bit larger. Beggars can't be choosers. Ooh, look at all the instructions on this guy. Man, look at that. Do not launch at people or pets. Ah, oh, dang it. Shoot, they read my mind. Number one, push arrow into bow like shown until it stops. Number two, grab the back of arrow and pull back all the way. And number three, hold at an upward angle and release. Here's, there's the bow. As you can see, as most bows are made with a spring inside. It's got the little uh, Nerf logo right there. Wait, actually, is that Zombie Strike? Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's a, that's a freaking Zombie Strike logo. Why was there a Zombie Strike logo on this? That's definitely a Z and not an N. Very, very weird. Okay, well, we put, we push it in, and uh, as said, it does not lock it into place. You gotta get a hold back. All right, everyone, hold back. Oh. <laughs> I'm curious if I can make it fire harder than the other dart blaster. The pinnacle of technology. We've come so far. I'm so proud of us. It does stand. This one, um, this one doesn't stand, so point for the bow. I will have to chronograph them after our next two. And finally, two halves of the same coin, we have the dart launching spoon. If anything, these are the two I've been most interested in because I feel like I could maybe actually use these as a spoon and I could stir up a conversation as a result of doing that. Not necessarily a good conversation, but a conversation nevertheless, I need friends. These are, they look to be the exact same, just different color schemes. So I don't know if one's going to be more rare than the other, but the good news is that similar to our previously tested dart blaster, same projectiles. Cool, which means that I have three pieces of uh, this sonic ammunition, which means I have some cross compatibility, yay. But this is a spoon. I mean, you can use this as a spoon and I've seen a lot of other wacky packs have spoon offerings, which makes sense for Sonic. Shove it in the back and uh, what is it? Okay, here, I'll read the instructions. Tell me your secrets, dart launching spoon. Insert dart into spoon. Slide button up to launch. I was just doing that. Oh, you gotta try a little bit harder. You have to push as hard, if not harder, than what the projectile will come out as. <laughs> You're dead. Okay, seems like it's pretty similar to the other one, but again, this is a spoon with a dart blaster. It can only blast darts. This can still be used as a utensil. And last, we have the same thing, just in a slightly inverted color aside from the orange push button. I don't know which I like more, but I'm also going to assume that the instructions here are the exact same. We'll do a quick test just to make sure it functions. Yep, and about the same. Cool, well that's all of them, let's chronograph. For those curious on a quick ammo comparison, here's a standard Elite Dart. It is just a weird color because it came with that porcupine pop. But to show just how big this is comparatively, I mean, it's actually really similar in size. It's just that, you know, the proportions are off. But then you turn it sideways and you're like, ah. So no, it's not going to be cross compatible in any way. But uh, now you know, and then of course, that's uh, why, why even compare. Chronograph is here. Let's start with the standard dart blaster. I have three shots, which means I can test a few different things. Let's see if it registers. 12.7, 12.1, 
12.1. Yeah, I don't know if this is even working. 10.8. Okay, well, not great, but good enough, right? I don't know. Okay, this is the hard one. 12.7. Wow, such power. Now I have to go get it. 54.4. Holy smokes. That changes everything. Let's go for 60. 35.0. Yes, wow. Oh my goodness, these are totally real. I am not being sarcastic. Like I always am not sarcastic. God darn it. 10.8. Okay, a little worse. 5.5. Guys, I don't know what to tell you. This bow, this bow is a game changer. I can't believe that they would give this to people in a Sonic wacky pack. What more is there to say other than clearly that was not uh, perfect data. So don't believe anything I ever say. All right, let's test the spoons. At least this one's easier to aim with. 9.8, 16.4. Thirteen point seven. Fourteen point seven. Thirteen point one. Fifteen point seven. I mean, on par? Maybe slightly better than the dart blaster, which is not a good look for the thing that's explicitly called a dart blaster when your spoon is firing better. Scoopity scoop! You are now poop. So my final thoughts on the Nerf Sonic Wacky Pack. It's game-changing, and it puts the other Nerf collaborations to shame. Fortnite, Halo, Roblox, Star Wars, it's got nothing on this. I am always continuously impressed by what Nerf can do and bring to the table with collaborations, and this line is a clear indication of that. And without the sarcasm, it is what it is. I mean, some of these are actually kind of cool. I'll probably keep the spoons and, and use them. But the other blasters, I mean, even the spoon blasters are not great. Ironically, the blaster blaster is the worst of the, <laughs> the powerful ones. This is the worst to fire, even though it clearly is so overpowered comparatively. Super soakers, whatever. iPros, unwearable. The rocket makes a cool display piece. If you find yourself in a position where you can pick one of these up in a wacky pack, then go for it. But I don't think this is going to be something to seek out in the future if you're a collector. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe in a couple of months when these are gone, they will skyrocket in value because you can't find them and that's just how scarcity works. I don't know. I don't know if that's happened to Nerf collaborations with fast food places in the past. Again, I think my preference is just the spoon because it's kind of cool. It's a Nerf spoon and you know, you have a, two different color options and I guess you can fire something. It does make me think of like that Nerf pen that was an actual Nerf product. So maybe there is potential to put something better in here. I think you'll have to put some work into it, but at the very least, it's a usable spoon. Huge thank you once again to Kyle who sent these to me for review purposes. I greatly appreciate it. It is probably not an easy thing to do and go out and find all these on your own. So huge, huge shout out to him for making this possible. And I suppose now my collection is a bit more complete when it comes to all things Nerf related. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I will see you later.